Miles Thompson. I'm the co-director of the Fincher's Film Fest 2021. And I'm Samantha Bozen, the other co-director of the Fincher's Film Fest 2021. And welcome to day two of the festival. Thank you so much to everyone who's already watched, filmed, and voted. Both we, the judges, and the filmmakers really appreciate the love and support. Just as a reminder, voting is going to take place for the rest of the week, so keep on watching films. Awesome, yeah, and so if you want to vote or if you just want to watch the films, please check out the Vimeo link on our website just below this video. Um, please also stay tuned. Tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern Time USA, we have the Filmmakers Opening Ceremony video where each filmmaker is going to get to talk about their film, who they are as a filmmaker, just introduce their work. So please stay tuned for that video, which is also going to be on our website right below this video. Speaking of which, should we introduce the feature films of the day? Yeah, why not? All right, let's introduce the feature films of the day. Hey again, it's Samantha Bosen, the co-director of the Fincher's Film Fest 2021, and I'm back for day two of our featured films of the day. Um, we're going to be featuring six new films um, that we're showcasing in our festival, and we have six amazing films to talk about today, so I hope you stick around for this video. The first film that we're featuring today is The Artist by Aziz Alaka. The Artist was so fun to watch because it was so uniquely put together and it kept me on my toes the entire time. I honestly didn't know exactly what was happening until the very end and then my mind was blown. And I absolutely love watching films like that. So if you like watching films that keep you on the edge of your seat, definitely check out The Artist. Um, we don't have an intro video for the artist today, but here's a short sample of what you would get if you watched it. Our second featured film of the day is Q's Daydream by Pierce Tran Stefan. Um, Q's Daydream is like, it's so lighthearted and so fun. Um, it's made by college students and I think that, that it is such a high production quality for a student film. Um, not only that, it's just such a playful film. It'll definitely raise your spirits. So check it out. It's one of my favorites. I love it. Um, and here is the intro video for Q's Daydream. Our protagonist, Q, played by the wonderful Remy Yin, lets his action-packed fantasy take over and finds himself in unexpected friendship along the way. With this film, one of our main goals was to capture that spirit of imagination inside all of us, uh, specifically how it can bring people together. Uh, working with Amro, Sheena, and Isabel, and of course Pierce, our director, was terrific. And we were able to create characters that were able to have fun, very playful. Gunshot noises with my mouths and finger guns all added to this playful element of childlike happiness. It's like kids on a playground. We'd like to congratulate all the other selected films and thank Ventress Films for this wonderful opportunity. All right, and our third featured film of the day is To You by Eleanor Ollander. Eleanor is a Swedish filmmaker and actor. I know her personally. She is such a lovely human being and her work is phenomenal. So please check it out. Um, it's about what it's like to be an artist um, working in the industry, specifically an actor, as well as the experience of what it's like being a female actor and being in the arts as a female. Um, at least that's the way that I took it and I felt like the message was really strong and I related to it a lot since I am an artist and I'm sure most of you watching are as well, so please watch it. It will be well worth your time. Um, here is the intro video for To You by Eleanor. Hi everyone, I'm Eleanor and I'm the director of the film To You. Uh, to You is set in New York and it's about acting students and I don't want to say anything more. You'll have to watch it. Maybe there's some drama, who knows? Um, this was my very first film that I ever made and since I'm Swedish um, it was really exciting and challenging to be making it in English. Um, but I had a great group of cast and crew that was really supportive and understanding and patient with me <laughs> during the process. They're all my dear friends. 
Um, and I had a lot of fun filming this film, and I hope they did too. And we're also excited to be a part of this film festival and to be able to share our work with you guys and hopefully to see some of the other films. So Happy New Year and enjoy! And our fourth featured film of the day is Ritu Goes Online by Miranda Samartha. Um, this film is just, it's incredible. It's a documentary and documentaries are really hard to do. They're really hard to pull off and keep the audience engaged the entire time. But when I tell you I was glued to my screen when I watched this, it is 100% true. This film just captured my heart. It is so beautiful. It tells a story of um, what it's like to be an entrepreneur, but also what it's like to be a female and a female business owner. And so I think it's really an important story. So I hope you check it out. Um, and here is the intro video for Week 2 Goes Online from Verinda. Hi, uh, this is Vrinda. I'm the director of the documentary short, Ritu Goes Online. The film is about a woman uh, from rural India who without any background in business or any formal education, manages to set up a very successful e-retail business. Uh, so the, through the film, we um, attempt to look at um, the whole context uh, of where Ritu comes from, the kind of society. Um, three generation of women, her mother and her daughter, and um, what the financial independence uh, means and what kind of impact it does have. So please watch the film and tell us what you think. Thank you. And our fifth featured film of the day is still here by Layla Donnelly. Layla is a high school student, so this was a student film and it was really well done. Um, still Here is a drama short with such a sweet message, so I really hope that you can check it out. Um, we don't actually have an intro video for Still Here, but here's a little snippet of the film to see what it would be like to watch Still Here. Alright, in our sixth and final featured film of the day is Thoughts and Prayers by Lisa Gold. Thoughts and Prayers is, it hits me hard. Like when I watched it, I was like, whoa, this is, this is, this is it. I think it describes uh, what we experience in America um, so well. It um, is very effective in the message that it tries to portray. I don't want to give anything away because it is, you know, shocking and the, the subject matter can be intense, so um, just keep that in mind, but I feel like it's, a, it's something that we really need to talk about, especially here in the United States. So um, please check it out. We don't actually have an intro video for Thoughts and Prayers, but please, if you wanna watch it, here's what a little snippet of Thoughts and Prayers would look like. Uh, mm. Thoughts and Prayers. All right, so those are all of the featured films that I have for today, but stay tuned for tomorrow as we're gonna be featuring six new films, including Tony Montana, Fire Escape, The Quiet, Whistleblower, Rules of the Dead, and Memory. So please check out these six featured films that I mentioned today, as well as the ones that I mentioned yesterday. Um, I know that the filmmakers really appreciate the support, and so do we. Um, stay tuned for tomorrow's featured films of the day. Thank you so much for tuning in today to the festival. Yeah, we really appreciate everyone's support and we hope to see you back for day three. Bye. Bye. Hey, nice t-shirt. Oh, thanks, you too. Oh, thanks. So yeah, I mean, we're both wearing Fitcher's Films t-shirts because we're the co-founders of Fitcher's Films, but we sell these t-shirts on our website at fitcher'sfilms.com under the merch tab. And we would really appreciate if you could please um, just support our small business and buy a t-shirt from us. They are super affordable, they come in four different colors, and they're so comfortable. They're very soft cotton. Totally. So please check those out. Um, and we're also selling Fincher's Film Fest 2021 t-shirts on our website as well. Um, so if you're interested in getting a Film Fest t-shirt, we would also appreciate the support. I hand tie-dye them, so they're super cool. Again, super comfortable. So check them out if you're interested.